Hey guys, so welcome to another video um, about to me. Um, I just wanted to share some ideas or some thoughts I've been having about um, the concept of perfectionism as a creative person, right? Um, and what perfectionism does to creative creativity and your creative flow and just your creation process, right? Because recently, actually a few days ago, like yesterday, I don't know what I'm going to put up this video, so it might be a few days ago, I finally handed in my master thesis and I handed it in two days before the deadline. Um, I thought it was one day, then I discovered it was two days early. Um, and I just had to let go. Do you understand? Like, I had reached this point because I'd been working on it for six months and you, maybe you get attached or maybe you feel like you can always be better and maybe you feel like you can always add more, you can always proofread it and more, you can perfect it. Like I could do so much more to make it even better. And I just felt like I was getting in my own way because I just, it, every time I reread it, I felt like there was something I could change, right? And it was this mixture of I'm over it and there's so much that has to be done to it. And I caught myself feeling, again, this anxiety. Um, I don't say anxiety because I think that's very serious, but like this, this fearfulness of it's not good enough maybe? What if it's not good enough? What if, it's, uh, what if it can always be better? And I just had to stop and know that it's good enough. It's freaking good enough and it should be sent um, because then I don't have to freak out and obsess about it anymore, right? So I just send it out and I felt relieved and I was like, first of all, even if it's not perfect, it's good. I've done my work. I've dedicated my time. I have done all that I wanted to do for it, right? For this thesis, for the research. Um, from my, for my problem statement, right? And so there was nothing left to do but to let it go. <laughs> Just let it go and move on from it and getting detached from it and being pleased with my part of the work. Not because now it has to be, it's sent off and then it has to be um, evaluated and then I have to go defend it and then I'll get my final, um, um, what do you call grade, my final grade, and then I'll be done with my studies. Um, so now it's not in my hands anymore, but I'll have to defend it in a few days or weeks in September. But it was just so nice to like have a moment with myself and like calm myself down and, and like tell myself not to stress over it. Like we do that so often, like you feel like things can always be better like especially when you're a creative person but also a perfectionist I guess and it sucks because I have a vision of my stuff and then there's the work that needs to happen for that vision to be true and then there is the reality of my capabilities of achieving that vision or like other circumstances that might interfere with my process of, of achieving those um, visions and so what ends up happening is like this disconnect of what I want to see and what I can do um, like creates a conflict within myself where I feel like I don't want to create stuff unless I deem them perfect right like I always have this feeling of if my name or my face or something is going to be on it I want it to be good I want to be proud of it right but then I had to like pull back and understand that that is not realistic, even though I don't like being realistic. But that is not nature. I like saying that better than that's not um, realistic. That's not nature. That's not how life works. Like, at least not for me or to my understanding. Um, when I look at things around me that are beautiful, that are nature created, like, for example, this, this beautiful plant over here and you see it and it's just it just grows that's what it does it grows and it branches out and it becomes beautiful and magical but whatever value we want from it we put onto it but it is what it is right and so i was inspired by that that 
of course, like for example, when you look at the seasons, um, nature waits for spring, summer, whatever to come before certain things happen. There is a harmony of an ecosystem, right? Um, but things happen. Things happen. They don't have to be perfect, but they happen. And I wanted to take on that feeling of you should create because you're passionate about creating. You should do because you want to do. And you should create with a feeling of of extension. Like my thesis now is an extension of the ideas I have collected and combined and now I send it off to be read. And whatever they take from that, that is, that is detached from me, right? I've done my part. I've, um, I've created peace with what I've created because I'm happy and proud of it. Even though it's a, a scientific um, thesis, um, I think because of my artistic background as well, and also I am, I am more from an artistic way of working, um, I still take on that feeling of that I could do it better and it could be even more pretty, it could be more academic, it could be more because as a creative person I just, I feel like I can do even more than that but when you feel like that you never release, you never let go of your creations. Like say for example my YouTube channel, um, I've been meaning to start it up and I've been postponing it because that wasn't perfect or the time wasn't perfect. I needed to find my new place, I needed to finish my thesis, but now it's done, obviously. I needed to get the right camera, I need, like you need, you need, you need, you need, and then you never really get started. Of course there's stuff you need to get, but sometimes you just have to start out, just start out. Like imagine if babies didn't walk until they could perfect walking. How are you going to perfect walking if you don't start walking? It's silly. <laughs> um, so maybe that's the way I want to think about my creations that I'm practicing. It's all another thing I heard was you could relate it to I'm experiencing, you know, because there is no um, conformity to experiences because they're individual, they are unique every time, um, and they're yours alone to interpret your own experience. So my experience with my thesis is done um, and now I'm experiencing creating this video and then I'll experience editing it and then I experience um, uploading it for you guys to watch and now you are experiencing it. Um, I feel like that works better for me, that way of thinking about my creations as just creativity and experiences, you know, maybe even creating experiences. And then don't be afraid to let it go and because your experience with it is not fulfilled and you should not be too detached, too attached um, to it that you don't let it be experienced, right? Um, anyway, it's a bit, it's a bit, mm, but I'm getting there. I think one of the best ways of figuring out the things that stand in our way is to talk through them, like to with yourself, with your friends, write them down in a journal, with a camera, because then you start thinking about it differently, right? Okay, so that's it I think about perfectionism. Like don't let it stop you. Don't don't let it stand in the way of starting stuff, of doing stuff, of working out, of doing a creative project, of going on a date, of falling in love, of going on an adventure, moving abroad, don't let it stand in your way because life is not the final show, it's an experience and you're here to experience every aspect of it so don't get attached too much to the details of it. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys, I'll see you in my next video, um, stay tuned for more videos if you like and be good. Okay. Bye.